Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on another 3D plot in Matplotlib called Surface Plot. My last two videos were on 3D bar plot and 3D scalar plot in Matplotlib. So get ready for another 3D plot. First import, import, oh, oh. import pandas as uh, kitty, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.py plot as plt. Well, first let's create some dummy data, three, four, y, five, seven, ten, twelve. Well, first we will create uh, the surface plot with this dummy data and then I will show you how to uh, create a surface plot with a real data set called Oracle data set that I used in last two uh, videos as well. Okay, these are the dummy data, x and y. But in surface plot, you cannot just input this one-dimensional list. We need grids, rectangular grids. So for that, we have np.meshgrid function, where you can pass x and y and it returns this kind of grid, okay, x and y. So let's see how x looks like and y. Well, x and y are ready. And now we need a z as well because this is a 3D plot. And for z, we have to use this x and y and transform them and use a z function to get our z. So there are several different kinds of z function. I'm going to use one very commonly used z function here, x and y. This, this is return np dot sign np dot square root x square plus y square. This is a z function. Now let's define z, z function x and y. So let's see how z looks. This is a z. So we have x, y, and z data. Now plot plt dot figure uh, fig size 10 by 10. So it's going to be a pretty big plot. Now, ax uh, plt dot axis projection 3. ax dot plot surface x, y, z. Here is the plot. Okay, make it interactive by putting percent and percent, no, percent. Matplotly notebook. Well, here it is, so you can move it now, you can interact with it. So do you see that? Now, if you're totally new to these 3D plots, uh, just let me explain a little bit, just so that you know what's going on. So look, here we have a, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 7, 10, 12. And why we have to create this mesh grid? Just look. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 7, 10, 12. This is the data. Please remember it. So look, in X direction, 1. Each of 5, 7, 10, 12. Each of the member of Y, uh, uh, of our Y, get plotted against 1. Look, 1. Here is 5. This is 7. Look here, it's 10, here is the 12, okay? And again in two, you can see five is plotted here. So this is five. So look, it's three, it shows it's not straight, okay? So this is actually five. And this one is seven. And here you can see the 10. And this here, this side, you'll see the 12. So for three and four as well, it plotted 
all 5, 7, 10, 12 against both 3 and 4. Okay, and for z, uh, we got z using the z function, and you can try with different other z function as well. Instead of sine, you can use cos, cosine. So if you use cosine, this is the z function. So Sorry, this is the plot, surface plot. Okay, the surface looks like that. Instead of square root, use log. So the surface plot becomes this. Okay, so feel free to try different ones. Sine, and instead of log, let's put a keyword back. Well, this was our surface plot using this dummy data. And let's do it using our data set PD dot read csv the data set is auto clean dot csv df dot head and this is the data set let's look at the columns these are the columns you can see these are the data set about some auto industry and it has make body style uh wheelbase then horsepower price City and PG, lots of other stuff, but we don't need all of that. I will use only length and width. Okay, so X, DF, length, and Y, DF, width. Okay, now let's uh, do this mesh grid XY using the mesh grid. We'll get the grid and for v as usual i have to use the z function and input x and y as the parameter this is a z okay well data is ready again as before control c control v this is the surface plot okay now i will use r stride one and c stride one to fix that and get the data set smooth do you see that that this side it got fixed okay now a extra set x label length yeah, x dot set y label width okay here is the complete surface plot i wanted to show you today i hope you enjoyed this video uh, thanks for watching if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you so much